Hi there, this is episode 15 of my The Genius of Cliff Gallup series. Today we're going to look at another song off of the Blue Jean Bop album. This is Waltz of the Wind. This is a pretty simple tune, but it has some classic um, runs and licks in it and stuff, so we're going to go over it. This starts off in a G position. So we're just, um, we're coming in on the and of beat three, so it would be like one, or we're coming in on beat three rather, so it'd be one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and three. Let me turn on the metronome. Two, three, one, two. So anyway, phrase one, let me just play through phrase one and I'll stop. Phrase one will be one, two. Okay, so let's break that down. We're going to start out at um, the um, fifth fret of the fourth string. And we'll be playing um, simultaneously the fourth fret of the third string and the uh, third fret of the second string. So that gives us this little G shape. So we'll be playing those notes, fourth string, third string, second string. And then we strum all three strings together. And then we're going to add our sixth, which would be this E note at the fifth fret of the second string. Go back to our root note G. So so far we have one, two. Okay, and then we're going to do these two notes of the chord we're holding, the fourth and third fret notes. I'm going to play those together. So so far what we have is this. Okay, and then we're going to slide this down two frets to the first and second fret. And then we're going to take our middle finger off and we're going to play the open third string and the first fret C note of the second string. And then we go to the D note on the end of beat three. And then we're going to slide from this B note at the fourth fret to the A note at the second fret of the G string. And then we'll play the open G. Okay, that's the end of phrase one. So watch this whole thing slow here. Okay, and then we're going to be back to this G shape again, except this time we're going to be also playing the 5th fret of the A string. So we come in on the end of beat 3. One, two, three. So that would be one, two, three. So that's 5th string, 4th string, and then we go to the 5th string, 4th string, 3rd string of this G shape. So we're just kind of arpeggiating that chord. Okay, then we're doing this little cool lick. This is almost like a Hawaiian sounding thing. So we're at um, the 5th fret of the G string, 7th fret of the D string. And we walk that up chromatically 3 frets. And then we have this descending D, 
seven D nine run. So that's just barred at the seventh fret on the B and G string, fifth fret, same two strings. And then we do this chromatic walk down at three and four on the B and G strings also. So that's all on the second and third string. Okay, so that's phrase two. Listen to it one more time. Okay, then phrase three is the same thing that we did for phrase one. It just repeats that little motif. And then we're on phrase four. Phrase four sounds like this. Okay, so this time we're on another part of this G chord. So the beginning we're doing this G voicing. Then in phrase two we were doing this G voicing. Now in phrase four we're doing this G voicing. So that's just the fourth fret on the third string and then the third fret barred on the bottom two strings. Kind of like, you know, like an F chord shape but moved up two frets. Okay, so let's look at a phrase four from the beginning. So we have this, as we discussed, and then we're gonna go to this little sixth slide, which is the fifth fret on the G string and the fifth fret on the high E string. Slide that up two frets to the seventh fret. And then we're on this. This is the fourth fret of the D string and the third fret of the B string, which is like a part of a D chord. Then we play those two notes again with a pinch. Okay, and then we're sliding in from the fifth fret to the seventh fret on the D and B strings. And then we're gonna catch this high A, the fifth fret of the E string. And then we're on this, which is another sixth. We have fourth fret of the G string, third fret of the E string. Move that down chromatically uh, a fret. Open D, and then this open G7 chord, which is the open third or fourth, third, second, and then the first fret of the E string. Seventh leads us to our four chord, which comes right after that. So that's Waltz of the Wind. I'd slow it down, but it's already pretty slow. So um, let me play it one more time and we'll call it a day.
That was episode 15. We'll see you on episode 16. Bye now.